The ATX BPR650 is just basic 45 degree leg press machine. It is designed purely for leg presses and calf raises. Although it may have a pretty simple function, it does both these exercises with ease thanks to some really clever design features that I'll point out. We originally built the BPR650 with the intention of moving it on once we got its big brother in, the, the BPR790. The BPR650 was a completely new addition to the ATX range. It was not a redesign of an older version and it featured some new design features that we had not seen on ATX machines previously. We don't have enough showroom space to have every machine in the ATX lineup set up all the time. And since the, the leg presses take up a fair bit of space, we thought we would just keep the, the BPR 790. And to be honest, I'm not a massive leg press fan. And for years, I never used to have them as my suppliers at the time didn't have any. My preference in my own training was just doing squats and Powertech had the compact leg sled, so I used to use that. However, after setting up the BPR 790, the old 650 is still here. And that would be for at least a year, a year and a half, if not longer. This machine has earned its spot purely because it's so easy and I guess enjoyable to use. One of the best things about training with my kids is that I find out exactly what equipment is best for beginners who have zero experience. Whether it be picking up the form or how easy it is to use, this uh, BPR650 leg press is so much easier for the kids to use. I'll elaborate more in greater detail. The BPR650 saw the introduction of a whole new roller system. It is different to their previous leg machines and the system they've got on the, the BPR790 and the CLP700. Both these machines featured curved bearing driven rollers that operate on circular guide rails. So I was intrigued by the release of this machine that features their flat bottom rollers that are housed inside the frame. The older versions with the curved nylon rollers work great even in heavy use gym environments. So I just was interested to see why they would move to another roller system. After using the machine now for over a year, I know why. The, the rollers or casters are like ones that you'd see in some sort of industrial applic application. They operate smooth and quiet. It just glides. This part of the frame is made from four mil thick steel. So by doing this, they don't need to use the guide rail system. This structure serves both purposes. Plus, it gives it a cleaner look. The machine is built for a load rating of 500 kilos, although on the weight sleeves, we can only fit nine of our basic style 20 kilo Olympic plates. So that's 360 kilos in total. Personally, I've not got near that, but if you need more resistance, you can get a pair of the thinner 25 kilo powerlifting plates, or you can just add resistance bands. It comes standard with the band pegs, and the bands are simply looped around the bottom and then over the weight horn. The 700 mil wide foot plate allows you to vary your foot position. There's plenty of room on there. Now it's got this nice little steel bar welded at the top of the lip, which acts as a handle. You use that when you get in and out of the machine. It is a nice touch, you know, it's not really necessary, but just demonstrates the, the level of detail that's gone into this design. Now, my favorite part of the BPR650 design is the start and stop mechanism. This is the main reason why this leg press is so easy to use. You start and stop at the same position. The mechanism operates off a handle, which you push forward or back to, to um, disengage the weight carriage. This thing's got a bit of a tricky mechanism, the new innovation. Oh, the little handle. Yeah, so just... Very tricky. A little handle. Ready? There. Oh, look at that. And I actually like it. It's actually got a nice flat bit here for your calves. And it's good too, it's actually a nice handle range here. Some people who are vertically challenged like me, sometimes, you know, 
when you sit in a seat you can't reach handles you gotta uh, yeah uh, yeah uh, so that's a good good position but like i said it's good it's got the nice flat bit for calves a lot of leg machines don't even have that they'll have the whole angle so your foot's at a weird angle and it's very easy but like i said once you're doing them too if you're new to it like i said use this as a safety in case you do train by yourself and you want to go heavy but let's just say you're going super heavy you think you can get one more rep uh, you can't at least you can get out and you're not going to be crushed sitting there waiting for six hours for your mother or your wife to get home from work because if that comes down on you and your legs are up against your chest guess what you're probably not going to get out for a long time even if you're because if you, even if you're that exhausted, I've seen guys where it's stuck on them and they can't even, they're just like <laughs> So if it has a safety mechanism, use it. It doesn't make you a wimp not to use it, so. In comparison, most leg presses in this market or price range have multiple teeth, like the BPR790, which engage the weight carriage. So you have to push up slightly and pivot the teeth out of the way. Personal trainers will know exactly what I'm talking about here. When you are new to the machine or have an inexperienced lifter, it can be a little challenging. Plus at the end of the set, when a beginner is fatigued, they may panic when trying to uh, lock the machine back into position. This is how you're meant to start on a uh, tooth style leg press push up slightly push the handles in or out depending on the machine but where you go but when you get someone who doesn't know the machine or not familiar they'll um, so yeah but once you get used to it It's fine. Look, this is not a big deal. I have got this far in my life, um, training people, showing people how to use equipment, and have had no major issues with traditional leg press designs, but it does make the whole process a lot less frustrating, more enjoyable, if you don't have to hover around and just make sure that someone's using the equipment properly and safely. The start-stop mechanism design is not without its downside. The position is fixed, so you start and finish at the same spot, meaning that you can't adjust it for different people's heights. It is designed for an average user size, so if you're below five foot two inches, you may struggle to engage the weight carriage, but for the majority of people, you will not have an issue that nearly all gym equipment is designed for people of average dimensions. So if you're really tall, really short, or have freakishly sized appendages, you may come across issues with a lot of gym equipment. The design and build of the locking mechanism gets my juices flowing. This level of detail would have been unheard of an affordable piece of equipment. You, you'd normally see this on the higher end units. The latch is made out of thick laser cut steel plate and it all pivots on bearings. It is operated with one hand versus you need two hands on the 790, not a massive deal. Even the handle at the bottom, it also pivots on bearings. Both mechanisms are connected by these ball joint rod ends. So it just looks good and functions even better. The backrest is another feature that stands out. It is massive and contoured perfectly to fit your body. For me, the best part is the adjustment system. Once again, it's just so simple and effective to use. It is a bearing driven mechanism that pivots and requires only one hand to adjust. No spring pins, no noisy sawtooth adjustment systems, just simple move with one hand. While you're sitting, you can adjust the safety system. So it's a removable pin. So you simply just 
drop it into the position which is just below your range of motion. So this means that um, you can go as hard as you want and be completely safe. Another handy feature but is that the upright has the same holes and spacing as the ATX power racks. So you can jazz up your leg press with some attachments. Now, not all will fit, but if you're not sure which ones work, just drop us a line and we, we can let you know and, and even give us a, a, a list of what items you'd like to use and we can set them up and show you what works and what doesn't work. We are blessed to have two great leg presses in the ATX lineup. So before you lose any sleep over deciding between the two, um, understand that this is ultimately a great position to be in. So either way, you're gonna end up with a great leg press. The choice is easy if you really wanna do hack squats, obviously get the 790. As for the leg press part of the equation, if you're a hardcore lifter, I would probably opt for the 790. That is not saying a hardcore lifter can't buy the BPR 650, but a real serious trainer will appreciate all that the 790 has to offer. But if you just want a leg press and you're not gonna go mental, then get the BPR 650. It is just easier to use and you're not paying for the things that you won't need. It's just that simple. So that's enough of my dribble on the machine. Um, it's always great to ask someone who's had experience with the, the BPR 650 in, in the real gym environment. So I thought we'd ask Matt from at the gym in the UK, how, how has the BPR 650 fared in your gym and would you have any hesitation recommending it for gyms and personal trainers? Well, here is your answer. Uh, Jack, if you want my scanning round. So we've had it in the gym, let me think, maybe 18 months, I reckon, whenever ATX released them. We had some of the first batch on a container. I think we even had them before ATX. Um, and so here it is in the gym. As you can see, build-wise, it's fared incredibly well, given that this is supposed to be a home-use leg press. Um, so yeah, we've got no issue in putting it in our full commercial gym. So we have over 500 members using it daily. Uh, so it's fared incredibly well in that regard. Well, thanks for that, Matt. As you can see, even though this is classified by ATX in their range as being a domestic unit, uh, you can see that it holds up remarkably well in a commercial environment. Um, personally, if if you ask me without any knowledge whether this was commercial or domestic, if I took one look at it, I'd say it would be, um, you know, in the commercial uh, space as opposed to domestic. It's the build and, and the, how, how well it performs under weight. Um, yeah, it's definitely up there. So you won't have any problems for if you're using it at home, it'll take what you can throw at it. But as Matt said, for users that like the lighter carriage, um, this could be a really good option if you're using it in your gym or personal training studio.